Okay, so welcome. Welcome to my room, welcome to this session. If I stand a little bit further back, you can probably see my feet. Okay, and then we want the posture. Feet, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders open. And then feel the spine and then feel to the top of the head. And then just try and let the muscles hang from the bones. Okay, and this is our very first thing that we have to master in the form. Okay, so the nine ball bearings inside the body are the ankle, the knee, the hip, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, and then one, two, three, the three knuckles on the fingers. Yeah, so three points of the fingers. So these are called the nine ball bearings in the Tai Chi classics. Okay, so we keep the upright posture. We don't want to uh, sink into the posture like this. So we just want to keep the posture upright, pushing the head up. Okay, and then rolling the wrists. Loose and relaxed. If you want to be ambidextrous, try and go the other way. In the beginning, this might seem a bit alien, but after a while, you'll you'll get it. Maintaining the upright posture, lengthening through to the tips of the fingers. Like a wave going through your body, a wave travels from one side, back to the other. Okay, and then up. two, and three, and down, and push forwards, and two, and three, and down. Two, and three, and extend out on the diagonal, one and two. So the muscles hang from the bones. Elbows feel like they're dropping down towards the floor. Everything normal and natural. Okay, and then the hands come down into whole ball posture, one and two. Inhale deeply, and then exhale. Inflate, deflate. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, push the diaphragm down. Inhale, push diaphragm down. Inhale, push diaphragm down. So you're piping the energy down through your legs and through your arms.
and in. Notice that the elbows stay either side of your rib cage. Lift upwards, drop the elbows downwards, drop into the feet, and then push on the floor and extend outwards. Long chin. Two. Three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bring your hands inwards, either side of the rib cage. Open outwards, feel that spine open. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And change. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bring the hands to your heart, open heart, open chest. And then back. Two. And back. Three. And back. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Press the hands over your heart. Whilst maintaining the upright posture. Okay, good, and then release the hands down, either side, one and two. Next time we want to pull the energy up from the feet, up through the legs, into the dantian, and then back down again. We're going to fold from the forearm and from the wrist and from the hand, and we're going to keep the elbow drop down. Okay, finding the relaxation, finding the spine, finding the upright position. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Exhale. Six. Exhale. Seven. Exhale. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 
chapter 11. And rest. Pause and hold for a few moments, check your posture. Ankles open, knees open, hips open, shoulders, elbow, wrist, hand, fingers. And do exactly the same this time coming through the feet and through the hands simultaneously into the lower dantian. Okay, we lift. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Rest. So, so far we've done two gate breathing and four gate breathing. Now we do five gate breathing. So, in through the feet, through the hands, and through the top of the head. Very lightly lifting the perineum, like doing a kegel exercise. Okay, inhale. And then release. Releasing the hold on the perineum as you breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, through your diaphragm, just push down. Inhale, exhale, four, exhale, five, exhale, Six. Exhale. Seven. Exhale. Eight. Exhale. Nine. Exhale. Ten. Exhale, 11, exhale, and one more, exhale, always come out, hands lift up. Breathing in through the left hand and wrist, spine and out through the right arm, um, wrist and hand, in through left, out through right, in through left, out through right, in through left. Out through right, in through left, out through right. Okay, and then you have developed the circling motion inside the body. Feel from the hand going through the spine, down the other arm. Keep the spiral going. All you need is your breath. Breathing normally and naturally. 
Just observe the spiraling in the body or the circling in the body. After a few minutes, take the mind just outside the skin. Feel the spiral. Okay, and then take the mind even further out. So you are of no mind. Okay, bring the mind back inside the body. Feel the spiral. As the energy begins to circulate quite strongly, release, let go. Muscular tension, just stopping gradually. Don't stop all of a sudden, just use your intention, stop very slowly. Noticing when the energy comes to a full stop, then we want to change the direction in through the right hand and wrist, spine out through left arm and wrist, in through right, out through left. Straight away the spiral starts up again, but the opposite direction. Just observe, breathe deeply. We start internal, we then make the transitions are just outside the skin. And then we make the transition to a couple of inches off the skin, all the way around, or even three feet around you in all directions. The energy of the head, the energy of the shoulders, the body. Just let the body be in the center of the energy spiraling around it. Circling around it, let the muscular tension go. Being of no mind. You can do this while sitting down as well if you get too hot. Okay, bringing the mind back into the body. Notice how quickly the energy is flying through your body all around in that circle. And if it's going too fast, just tell your body to slow down, calm everything, relax everything. Soft and gentle. Okay, good. 
release my hands down. One and two. Open okay. hands. Activate those energy centers in the palms. Massage the kidney. Just bend a little bit. and keeping the hands where they are. Good, and then circle the hips and the pelvis. And nine. Change direction. And nine. Okay, good. Bring the hands to prayer. And we're going to do one Qigong set. We're going to do the Bad Wan Jin Qigong set. This holds quite a lot of different positions for the body, ones that strengthen the immune system. Our first one being pushing the hands up. And exhale. And two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Exhale. And six. Exhale down down to the sides. As the hands cross in front of your body, usually at the wrists, step the feet a little wider into this horse stance, half horse stance. Okay, and then drawing the bow, hand can be open, it can be one finger, it can be one finger pointing, this is our archer pose, chest to the front, opening, inhale, exhale, release, and two, and release, three, and release, four, and release, five, and release, and six, and release. Hand swings round, cover the elbow, change, and draw the bow the other side. Inhale, and release. Two, release. Three, release. Four, release, five, release, six, release. Bring the hands down, step in, keep the hands up, bring the hands down. Looking over the shoulder to cure the stomach. Inhale, exhale. Two, exhale. Three, exhale. Four, 
exhale, five, exhale, and six, exhale. Change other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, put the hands up, and bring the hands down. Doesn't matter which hand goes on top, put one on top, one underneath. I'll be in the ball posture and rotate once, twice, separating heaven and earth, inhale. Exhale, two, exhale, three, exhale. Four, exhale, five, exhale, six, exhale. Changing, other hand on top, one, two, Separate heaven and earth. And release. Two. And release. Three. And release. Four. And release. Five. Release. Six. And release, bringing the hand down to cover the occipital ridge, other hand, kidney height, turning, one, two, three, four, Five, six, hold, squeezing the kidney, and release. And swap the hands over. One and two. Turn. One, two, three. Four, five, six, hold, and release. Okay, and then we lift the hands, drop the hands. As we drop the hands, we're going to step wide again. Lift up, down, to one side, swing the body like a dragon, and two, searching the depths of the earth and the heights of heaven, three, Four, five, six, and then change. One, two, 
two. Great. Four. Five. And six. Holding ball and lean forwards. Lifting the ball. Rotation. And uh, one. Three, four, five, and six. Good, and swing the other way. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. And up. Bring feet in. Bring hands over. Two ways of doing this next, well, there's three ways of doing this next exercise. We'll do the easiest version first. Holding just behind your knees. Pull inwards, breathe into your kidneys, and exhale and let go. And two. And release. Three. And release. Four. And release. Five. And release. Six. And release. Good. Bring your hands up. Bring the hands inwards and separate. Bring the hands either side of your body. Slightly open. Sit down on your chair. Punch. Open the hand. Close the hand. Two. Open the hand. Close the hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, one more, and in, okay, and step the feet fairly close together, lifting the hands up, 
and down. Bring the hands together round the back. Lifting up on the toes, massage, drop, two, drop, three, drop, four, Drop five, drop six, drop stop. Okay, bring your hands down to the front. To the dantian. So here's your navel, thumb is on top. Join the two halves together to form a triangle. Keep the posture upright and then focusing on the dantian area for one to two minutes. Find the relaxation in your body. The muscles hang on the bones. Good, and then release down. Okay, moving around a little bit. Okay, if you'd like to grab a quick drink <coughs> and then we'll start the uh, Shen short form, in which I'll do the front view first so you can see my hands, and then I'll turn around and do a back view. Okay, front view first. Align your, your body up. Everything else feels like it's sinking down. Swap the weight to your right leg. Right leg doesn't sink. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder. Align, lift, so here we're aligning the knee to the top of the head. Step out, drop the towel, drop the spine, but keep the head upright. Feel like you connect to the floor, press on the feet. One and two, long gin, and the elbow comes down either side of your rib cage, keeping the armpits open. Change, small turn left. Bring your weight back into your right leg. Sink through your right leg. Turn one and two, keeping the hip joint open, otherwise your knee will twist inwards. 
So right elbow over right knee. Change to the open. We change to the left. We do small turn to the left side. Now we start to turn to the right. Weights on the left leg. One rotating on the heel. Change. So weights are forward on the left. Now changing the weight to right, foot, knee, antenna. Once we have the antenna established, step. Step out. See the elbow should be over your knees. Yeah, elbow should be over knees. Small turn. And drop. Right elbow drops over the right, left elbow over the left. Weights in the front, foot, foot turned, facing the front. Yeah, navel is between your knees. Open. Shift the weight back, turn out your left foot. As we bring the weight and we find the weight in the left foot to antenna, step in, small step out, one and two. Lift up, everything is in the left leg now. The left leg is aligned with the floor, the floor is aligned with the top of your head. Lift and drop. Now the hands come forwards and outwards on turns, on piercing straight up. Weight moves to the right. Separating the hands, one and two. Weight now starts to move to the left side. One and two. We lift up and step out. Right elbow lines up with the right knee, left with the left. One and two. Change, turn left. Turn the left hand up. Turning. Extend out. Elbow drops over the right knee. 60 40 weight. Lift, turn, left elbow over left knee, weight into the right side, weight into the left side, hands to navel height. As you shift your weight into the right, one hand on your one side of your sternum, the other hand on the other, step and push. Your funks of eight, six ceilings, four closings. Chain, separate yin and yang. Left one goes forwards, right one comes back. Change again. Weights in the right leg. One and two. And drop the elbow. Establish lifting. Start to circle, step, elbow over the knee, elbow over the knee, elbow over the knee, one and two. Yeah, so make sure wrists are level, elbows are level, shoulders are level. Everything about the lower posture is level as well. Here, try and open as much as possible. Uh, hip is up, don't let the leg drop in. So hip is up, knee lines up with knee, knee lines up with elbow even, knee lines up with elbow, knee lines up with elbow, one and two. And then in. Okay, from the behind view to the view that you know. 
So I've got a mirror, but it won't actually, you can't actually see me in it. Might be able to see my foot in it, but <laughs> it needs to be bigger. That was Jane's request. Okay, so ankle, knee, hip open. They open to the top of the head. One. Two. Still we're open to the top of the head, but now we've dropped this tail straight down. We press on the floor. Long in. Elbows either side of the ribcage and down. Small turn to the left side. Small turn to the right side. Keep weight right, turn and twist, number one. Don't turn too far, otherwise the knee will collapse inwards. Change your weight from right to left, turning slightly. Turning, one and two, and three. Foot, knee, hip, shoulder, antenna. Okay, from here, step and step 45 degrees. Small turn as the hands come down. When we turn to the front, we turn out the left foot. One and two. Elbow over knee, elbow over knee. Open. Turn out your left foot. Find the balance, step in, small step out. One hand up, one hand down. Fist into palm. Knee, antenna. One. Two. Change. Push out, separate, split, one and two. Change to left. Step in, cross, step out. Elbows, line up with knees, turn to the left side. Left hand turns up. Don't lift the elbow. Once the elbow is lined over the right, push out and turn. Change. Left elbow lines up with left. Reaching and change. Right elbow lines up with right knee, left elbow lines up with left. To the center of your chest. Small step. The off arms to be. Change. Separating yin and yang. So the left one going forward, right one going slightly back. Change, separate. Right one forwards, left one in. Elbow drops down. The line. Foot, knee, antenna. Lift. Turning, step, one, elbow over knee, two, elbow over knee, tail dropping straight down, weight is on the left hand side, weight distribution 60-40, Left foot, knee, hip to right shoulder, elbow, hand. And then you're going to turn your body. One. Step straight. And then step on the diagonal. One and two. Elbows line up with knees. 
Let's try this V. So here, one and two. Okay, now we're going to turn out the right foot. Hand coming to elbow, and then stepping, and then separating for white crane split its wings. One and two, by how the end sit. Okay, so I'm going to do this view again. View you don't normally see. So here we small turn left. As we turn to the right, we turn out the right foot so it's pointing 45 degrees. We step. White crane spreads its wings. We turn, we block the center line. We change. We turn on the ball of the left foot. We change the weight. Foot to knee, shoulder antenna, and step on the diagonal. Right hand drops. Turn. Turning back foot. One. Two. Three. Open right hip. So the elbow gets over the right knee, turn back. Sia Sing. Yeah, Sia Sing. Down, embrace knee. Step. Lift hands, keep elbows drop down. Turn hands, strike forwards, one and two. Keeping the elbows dropped. Uh, notice like the bend in my arms, yeah, they're not completely straight. Change. One. Two. Three. Strike on the diagonal. Four. Strike on the diagonal. Keep the elbow bent. Keep the elbow bent. And slightly drop down. Yeah, feel tendon open or mind and tension going out. I'm going to do it again. <coughs> one and two. So this one. So one, two. Lift and drop the hands. Turning as we step. One and two. Change. Step. Strike. Turn out my foot. Step. We do this in lots of different angles. One. Open. Right one's coming back as left one is going forwards, separating yin and yang. Foot to knee, hip connects to antenna. As we punch, the right hip goes back. One and two, and the elbow comes back. Yeah, good, okay, and do it again. One and two, turn. Uh, open. Left one comes forwards, right one comes back. One and two. Okay, and change. Body turns, hip goes back. Strike. And from angle number three. So right, so the elbow over the knee. Left, so the elbow over the knee. Left one out, right one in, separating yin and yang. 
right hip goes back as you punch. One and two. Then one and two. Left one go out, right one go down. Right one is weight. Left one, there's no weight in the front leg just yet until we change to open one and two. Now I'm going to turn in the right foot and bring the hand to underneath the elbow. We're going to sweep the foot, turn, turn, and push. Gautama. Now we go Gautama. So here, heel comes down. Step in. Big step out. Turn. Separate. Sink. Weight slightly more on the right than on the left. Change and step in. One and two. From one and two. Weight step in. Change the hands, make fists. Foot, knee, hip, shoulder, antenna up. Lift. Strike. And step from the front knee. So here we have our gout on that. Hand slightly higher. Navel is here, so hand just below. From the elbow to be slightly forward, so not collapsed. And then this one closer into the body. Yeah, so you can see this not in the sunlight. Close to the body. All the weight is on this uh, right leg. Now weight shift to the left. Don't bring it too much into the left. Step in. Step out. Turn. Separate hands, one and two, over the knees, elbows over knees. Change and step. Step in. Out of the light. Here, my left, my right leg, sorry, is weight bearing. My left is empty. Um, just the ball of the foot on the floor. Okay, so foot, knee, hip, shoulder, antenna, change, lift, strike, and change. And left hand, high, step in with the right hand and the right foot. As we lift the right, touching the forearm on the, with the left fingers on the right forearm. Step with the right, turn, separate the hands. One and two. Sinking the hands down. And this time we're just going to lift up with control and back down again. And the second one, we're going to connect foot to knee, antenna. We're going to lift up with control. And then we're going to strike. Hold. One going forwards, one going back. Land. Step, change the hands and step. One and two. Turning in the hip slightly. Change, drop your left and step round. One and two. That's it. We bright the sunlight on my little red lotus thing. Two seconds. Let's try and change that a little bit. Yeah, that worked really, really well.
let's try that one. Okay. Let's go from the whole of that beginning bit. <clears throat> So gas hammer in, not out, has to kind of align over the knee. Down. Step. Step out. Turn. Separate hands. So we go right, and then we come back to the center. One and two. Oh, so that's good. And then we step in, cross the hands. We're down here again. Weight on the right leg. Change the hands into the fists. Foot, knee, hip, shoulder, antenna. Lift. Strike. One and two. Left hand. Right hand, right foot, right hand lifts up, left hand on the forearm, step with the right foot, turn, one and two. Let's look, turning one and two. And step back a little bit. Okay, here be careful. Normally we jump here, but we're just going to lift with control and then back down again. And we're going to lift again with control, if I can. <laughs> Try not to lock the back leg, but also don't let the knee, anything like spill out towards the side. Ankle align over your knee. So foot, knee, antenna. Once the antenna is in place, then it's much easier to lift up and to maintain your balance. When you strike, your elbow goes back, your hand goes forward, your foot goes forwards. When you land, you turn your foot out slightly. As we're coming through, you want to come through straight. You want to protect the head. Step one and two, we step behind and change. Turn on the ball of the right foot, heel of the left. One and two. That's it. Okay, and then our cloud hands. When we're doing cloud hands, we're going to step. We're going to bring the elbow over the knee. We're going to look into the mirror. And then the mirror is going to turn away. And then we're going to step up. We're going to bring the hand up. We're going to look into the mirror. We're going to turn away. We're going to step. We're going to look into the mirror. Turn the hand away and then step behind, one and two. This time looking into the right mirror, turn, point right, turn on the left heel. And so the left toes face the front, and then step with that right heel, one and two. Most of the weight in your left leg. Yeah, most of the weight in the left leg. Yeah, in class we have more space so we can do this diagonal across the floor, but in my space of a cow laying down, I have to keep on readjusting. So it's better to do the traditional steps and then make the last one a non-traditional step to do the turnaround. Okay, so one and two. We're going to step left. The elbow over the knee, looking to the mirror and turning, small step. Change weight right, look into the right hand, turn the right hand away, step left, look into the left hand, step right, weight into the right, look into the right hand. Step left, look into the left hand, step behind, look into the right mirror, turn, right, left, step with your right foot. Yeah, so you're in the right position. 
uh, one and two, elbow over knee, elbow over knee, pretty much. Okay, and then we bring the weight, foot, knee, hip, shoulder, antenna, step, and then step 45 degrees, number one. Two, we just change. We bring the foot up, we bring the hands down. One and two. Yeah, nice and easy. Here we want to just adjust, so we're not going to kick anything in front of us. The foot, the knee, the hip. This side, shoulder lines up, antenna goes up. Once the antenna is up, and we can kick and have balance. Yeah, otherwise we won't have that same balance. Yeah, so here, one and two. Foot, knee, hip, shoulder, antenna up. Turning slightly. Kick. One and two. And step. So you step on that 45 degree angle. We turn the body. One and two. We make fists. We bring into the abdomen either side of the sternum and either side of the center line. We lift up and we keep the elbows dropped down. Okay, now the hips are going to go backwards as the hands go forwards. One and two, and you see the power come out. Yeah, here, make sure the elbows are over the knees as well. Yeah, we don't want to turn too far. Yeah, just right. Okay, and then open. Open the hands. Right, over right, turn out left, toe, one and two. Open, turn out the foot, and small step. And we lift up, and we drop down. And we lift up, and we drop down. And we bring the feet together, and we lift up. And we drop down. Good. Okay, and then we're going to finish how we started by holding this ball. Inhale to fill the abdomen. Exhale, pushing the abdomen and pushing the diaphragm down. This forces the energy into the channels in the body and into the legs. At the same time, we have inflation and then we have deflation. Okay. So we still have our principles of all the ball bearings in the legs and the torso, from the shoulder to the elbow to the wrist to the three joints of the fingers being open. So inhale, exhale. Two, exhale, three, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, okay, opening, leaving open, so open the fascia, 
Let the muscles rest. Good, bring your hands in. Bring the feet in a little bit. Opening upwards, outwards, and back. Oh, Jesus, that's a bit bright, isn't it? <laughs> Try not to do that. Overexposure. And two. Three, four, five, six, and then the last three are feet, tailbone, center of the back, base of the neck, top of the head. Exhale, down to the shoulder, down to the wrist, down the chest, dantian, legs, feet, ground. Two, feet, tailbone, center of the back, base of the neck, top of the head, top of the head, shoulder, wrist, chest, dantian, legs, feet, Round. That's one, third one. Good. Okay, and then just returning the body back to its normal state. Bring the feet together. Right hand makes the fist and then the left hand covers. Well done everyone. We finished there. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Private message me. Thank you for joining me. I'll just unmute you all. Stop this recording. <laughs>